In this video, we'll balance the equation for FeCl3 plus O2, iron 3 chloride plus oxygen gas. Essentially, we have this solid iron 3 chloride, and we have the oxygen gas combustion reaction. We get iron 3 oxide and chlorine gas. Let's count the atoms up and balance the equation. One iron, three chlorines, and two oxygen atoms. Two iron atoms here, two chlorines, and then the three oxygen atoms. Let's leave the oxygen to last, especially since it's by itself here. And let's just put a 2 in front of the iron 3 chloride. 1 times 2, that'd give us 2. So those are balanced. For the chlorines, 3 times 2, that'll give us 6. Okay? If we put a 3 in front of the chlorine, that would give us 6. Now we're left with 2 oxygens here and 3 here. So it's a little bit challenging. There's two ways you could deal with this. One is you could double this number here. That would give you an even number of oxygens, and then you could balance the equation. The other, you could multiply this by a fraction. So you could say 2 times some number is going to give us 3. 2 times 3 over 2, these will cancel out. That would give us 3. So we could put 3 over 2 as our coefficient. And this is correct. Some teachers don't like the fraction, but to get rid of it, just multiply everything by 2. When we do that, 2 times 2, that's 4. 4, 2 times 3 over 2, the 2's cancel out, we get 3, 2 times the 1 in front of this compound here, that's 2, and 2 times 3 is 6. So you could also have the coefficients of 4, 3, 2, 6. So whether you go back and double the iron 3 oxide here and then balance the equation, or you use fractions, you'll get the same coefficients up here. This is Dr. B with the balanced equation for FeCl3 plus O2. Thanks for watching.